Apple just released HomePod OS 16.3 and it enabled a hidden feature inside the HomePod Mini that's been there since it was released. It's a temperature and humidity sensor. That's right, after installing the update, you'll be able to tell the temperature or how much humidity is in the air in any given room in your home that you have a HomePod Mini in. I'm Jason Cipriani and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm gonna walk you through the installation process as well as how to use those readings in the Home app. HomePod OS 16.3 was released just a couple days after iOS 16.3 was released for the iPhone. You'll need to install both of these updates in order for this feature to work. I suggest starting with your iPhone and then doing your HomePod, but if you want to go HomePod route and then do iPhone, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, HomePod Mini needs to be on 16.3, iPhone needs to be on 16.3 in order for all of this to work. All right, so to update the software, which is normally done automatically in the background without you ever knowing, to update the software on your HomePod Mini, what you'll need to do is go into the Home app. In the top right corner is the Menu button. Tap on that and then select Home Settings. Then you can scroll down until you find Software Update and tap on that. The app will do just like you do when you update the software on your iPhone or even an iPad. It will refresh, try to look for the update. After a few seconds, it'll let you know that HomePod Software Update 16.3 is available and you'll tap update all or update now, depending on how many HomePods you have around the house, and then let the rest of the process take care of itself. It's really simple. There's not a whole lot you have to do outside of that, simply because the device itself takes care of it once you've started it. Once you have all the software installed on the HomePod, as well as your iPhone or iPad, you can view your temperature and humidity readings pretty easily in the Home app. So what you wanna do is open the Home app, go to a room that has a HomePod Mini assigned to it. So here's my family room. Underneath the name of the room, you'll see a temperature and a humidity option. You could select either one of those if you wanna see more granular controls or information about that reading, or if you wanna see both of them together that are coming directly from the HomePod. For example, if you have multiple temperature sensors in a given room, like a thermostat, for example, or another EVE temperature sensor, uh, for example, you can long press on the HomePod listing and then select accessory details. Then you'll slide up and go to accessories. And here you'll see readings directly from your HomePod mini for both of those sensors. So the humidity sensor in my family room is currently reading 30%. I can view some more information if I long press on it, or I can go to the temperature sensor where I can see it's currently 69 degrees in my family room. Again, I can see more information down below. So that's cool. You can do very little with that information on its own. It's just nice to know, right? So if you wanted to actually take it a step further, you can long press on one of the sensors and see the option called add automation. You can tap on that and then you can create automations based on whether or not the temperature is above or below a certain threshold. For the automation you could use if the temperature rises above or rises below a certain point and then have it trigger something like a smart plug with a fan connected to it or maybe to take care of humidity or maybe you want the uh, furnace or air conditioner run so it gets the room you spend most of your time in but it's on the opposite end of your thermostat you want it to get at the right temperature. You could do a lot with the home automation stuff, but the, the bigger takeaway here is Apple released a software update that enabled a sensor that has been in the HomePod Mini since it was released. There's nothing else you need to do other than install the software update. Unfortunately, that also means you can't remove the temperature and humidity sensor option from the Home app without completely removing the HomePod Mini. So you're kind of stuck with it now, for better or worse. I'm Jason Cipriani. Thanks for watching this ZDNet how-to video. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more tech tips just like this one, as well as all the latest tech news and reviews.